All right, hi. Well, I wanted to share a couple things I've been doing. I've been uh, taking some photographs of the local coastline. I live uh, in Ventura County, California, so I've been taking some photographs and and doing some observations up and down the coast, basically from Cal from uh, Ventura area up to Santa Barbara County, back and forth, taking pictures of the shoreline, taking pictures of the uh, the oil platforms, taking pictures of the Channel Islands, and different directions, different um, different days. So you you get different types of uh, atmospheric conditions, um, atmospheric uh, compression, where the uh, you, you get basically it's it's kind of like a mirage, but the atmospheric uh, compression is where when you have a lot of humidity, the 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 basically the air closer to the water gets compressed and and makes things look like they disappear but you look at the same same exact perspective on a different day let's say on an oil platform that's 10 miles away one day it looks like it's halfway there one day it's disappeared one day it's perfectly in sight and it's just an observation it's, a, it's an optical illusion uh, it's, it's an optical uh, optical effect that um it's just interesting so um, let me show you a couple cool pictures because it's really pretty amazing. So this is an oil platform. I'm going to do a lot more ex explanation here, but but this is taken from Santa Barbara, and, and this is a very cool photo, and I'll show you why in a second. And I'll show you. I've got another off the off the Santa Barbara shoreline. There's four oil platforms called the Dos Quadras oil platforms. And uh, some time ago, I took a picture of um, these oil platforms from 17 miles away. These are the same oil platforms looking like straight, straight at them. So even though they look like they're clustered, they're actually, it's actually these here looking long ways which is just awesome because i'm looking you know these this picture is from 17 miles away and you can see the whole body of this thing so let me break these things down and show you what i'm talking about and i'm also um adding in i'm gonna start doing some observations with a with a laser and i'm gonna buy a theodolite to do an actual uh, land survey up the coastline so i can catch the shore and the ocean up the coastline and, and do my own surveying and you know to get a little study about that and do a proper proper survey and uh you know document all these things because it's it's been proven um over and over you can go out any day and test this for yourself i encourage you this is one of the things that really got me over the top i mean it's very cool you, you go out to the beach or you go anywhere um there's a million different observations you can make depending on where you live but um, it's it's very cool to measure things and do your own boots on the ground survey. You know, do it. It's it's it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, this is this is real science. You know, I'm, I'm making um, my my hypothesis of what I think I'm going to find. And you know, if anybody here is you know an academic, I might not be explaining the um scientific process and step by step specifically perfectly right now but i do understand what it is and and uh and i'm gonna actually go through this with a, with my uh, brother-in-law my kids another buddy of mine um, who are all interested in in looking at this and and having this discovery so it's just it's just a fun thing to do in real life and test it for yourself because if you test it for yourself if the ocean doesn't curve then you don't have a ball you know, I, I've mapped 500 square miles of of the uh, of the shoreline, and there's no curve. So check this out. I'm gonna show you a video I took here. This is from Summerlin Beach, looking towards uh, Santa Barbara. It's just, these are the um, see this orange boat. That's a shuttle boat going from the cruise ship to Santa Barbara Marina and it just happened to be there I was driving to the beach this is from uh, five and a quarter miles away from Summerlin Beach looking up north towards um, Santa Barbara and let's see this is 
This is in the marina. That's a boat. You see the bow, you see the, the hole there. There's the full boat. There's a full boat. You can see the water line. There's a little dinghy. Look at this guy spinning around. You know, you can see the whole boat. It's all there. It's amazing. Look at that. You can see just the water line. I mean, you can almost see the motor coming out of the water. There is nothing buried. This is from five, five miles away, so it's not that far. This is that shuttle bit, boat. You can see the whole boat. This is going through the marina. It really was terrible um, visibility that day. Um, and, and even with that, you know, it's all there. So this is going, you can, it just went in between. There's a little teeny boat right there. You can see the outboard. Okay. All right, so we've got that. And let's see. So from Summerland, it is five and a quarter um, miles. Okay, basically Summerland Beach here. Looking across, this is... The marina so you were seeing boats in here and the shuttle was coming back and forth right there okay and on the uh, the earth curvature calculator um, my camera was set at three feet off the sand um, that means there should be basically a little over five I'm sorry, five and a quarter. So there should be six and a half feet um, of curvature drop, and the horizon should be at two miles, 2.12 miles. So we shouldn't have been able to see the bows of those boats or the outboard sticking out or any of that or any of the holes of the boat because you should have six and a half feet of, of a basically water that you're looking through that would be blocking that uh that perspective so so you've got that that's just a, a short ways all right so now i drove up to santa barbara to this uh cruise ship anyways there is the um the shuttle boat here it is i'm, I'm just north of santa barbara of the marina so, so the marina would be just just off to the, to the left of this perspective and I just wanted to get a close up of, of it, so I drove all the way up there and uh, and got this. It was just Summerlin Beach. Where to go? Must have gone beyond. The and this is what's interesting. This is an oil platform. The other four I showed you are, are further over to the right of this perspective. Those four are called Dos Quadras um, oil platforms. These are standard. There's another three of them. Um, I looked at the, 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 the perspective. This is called oil platform Henry. Look, you can see the legs. That's basically the middle of it right there, about halfway through. That's where the legs are. Got the body, and then there's a crane. You see that crane right here? It's kind of a outroot. This is the, the crane where the guy would sit, and this is the crane. And there's a wire coming down. I know it's really grainy because it's from nine miles away. Okay? So this, this here is nine miles from where I was standing. Okay, so let me get let me keep going here. So that's what I want to show you there. And I thought that was just a cool catch because you get the bow of the boat. Obviously, <clears throat> sure, this is uh, as far as we can see. Now, from there, I'm standing here. Again, the cruise ship was right about here. And I'm staying on the beach here. Here's the marina. The last one I was taking the other direction. So this is looking out in the ocean completely opposite direction. 
And this, this is, if you could see these, this is the dos quadras, one, two, three, four, which was behind the cruise ship. It was blocking it from where I was standing. But I walked up the beach, um, I drove up, up to this point, and I could see across, and I saw these four, and I saw these three, and I line of sight, and I, and, I, and I looked at the actual platform, so this is Henry, here. Okay, so this is nine miles away. Boom. Nine miles, all right? So this is, uh, gets better and better. Now, for nine miles, again, three foot um, camera height, so nine miles away, the horizon should be two miles away. There should be 31 and a half feet of curvature drop. So that means that that oil platform should be buried. Um, they are 80 feet tall up to where the cranes begin. So basically a third of that thing should have been, should have been missing. And let's look at a picture of it. This is what they look like. You can see the legs. You can see the legs. You can see the body. You know, you can see where that crane was. There's the crane. And this is the actual drill. So this isn't here anymore because this was when they were physically drilling. And once they set the drill and they they'd complete the, the drill, that comes out and this crane stays. Helicopter lands here. Okay. I want to over explain it, but I just want to show what it is. Okay, it's the same thing, just a different picture of it. You can see right here, basically, the, here's the legs. You got the body of it. This is about 80 feet tall up here. Okay, so it's about 40 feet here. And <clears throat> here we go again. That's about midway. So you got the entirety of the legs. You can see them right here. Look at that. There's the middle. It's almost like you can see more of the legs. So there, there's the leg, 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 crane, you know, platform, working area. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, the, those quadras, one more time. This is looking, this is a basically almost the same area. It's up the beach, but it's um, uh, from my perspective in actual Santa Barbara city. Um, this is looking, you know, perpendicular off the beach. There's these four dos quadras oil platforms, and they're in line um, from the long view of that other picture. So here they are. You can see the legs. See the body, see the body, see the body, see the body. These are all different different distances from this perspective. I'm not even sure which one's the furthest. But you can see all the legs here, right there, all the legs, all the legs, okay? All right. This is a physical picture, this is a real picture of them. One, two, three, four. You can see the legs. These are 80 feet. I, I'm just trying to get this together real quick. I, I, I don't want to be too scientific about this. I've already done a ton, a ton of research on this. And I've done another video, if you look up in there, called uh, 500 Miles of Ocean Prove That the Ocean Doesn't Curve, um, Flat Ocean. So um, I already have a description with more um, details about this but I just want to bring it up again because I I just think it's cool because you're looking at all these different perspectives and it's just fun so ho hope you're uh, <laughs> hope you're sticking with me here uh, I'm just trying to roll through this so um, so there you go and let's look at the distance this picture was taken from Emmawood State Beach okay So we were looking the other direction on the other one. And I was actually looking across from this way. I'll pull that up. But anyways, look. 16.77 miles distance. Okay. Now, 
You got the earth curvature from three foot camera height, always had the tripod, 16.77 miles that we already um, verified. The, the horizon should be two miles away, 2.12. And there should be 143 feet of uh, curvature drop. So the target hidden height, those things should be hidden. They're, they're, um, they're 80 feet tall before the crane starts. So these things should be hidden behind a mound of water. Some people don't like the word mound. I get comments about that. You'd be looking through the water because it curves down the way. So... So this is impossible because the water line would be up here. It would be buried because these would be down below the horizon because the physical horizon that we just showed you is only two miles away. There it is. Should be two miles and everything past that two miles should curve down away and then at the distance of 16.77 miles, it's 143 feet hidden. So that's a problem for the globe. It's a real problem. So anyways, I think I'll leave it there. Just wanted to share that. And, um, and uh, it's just a really pretty kind of amazing thing. Okay. There's your line of sight of these Dos Quadras 4 oil platforms. You got that, okay? And then, from the other direction, here's your line of sight to Platform Henry. Both flat, what do you know? And what's the distance from um, Santa Barbara to Emma Wood is 22 miles. So if it's, if it's flat from here to here, okay, and it's also flat from here to here, is it going to be a rectangle or I'm sorry, a triangle? <laughs> you know, it's flat. So it'll be flat from here to here, and it's flat from here to here, and it's flat that way, <laughs> it's level and flat that way. So um, I'll keep I'll keep taking these observations and try to make it a little more concise, but I just did this today, I don't want to share it. So I'm going to cut it off there. I'm sure you're, it's probably just coming just ram, rambling on here. Just, it was just kind of a fun day. It was exciting, and um, I appreciate you watching, okay? I'll uh, talk to you, talk to you soon.